What is up? Welcome back to the channel. And we are out here on an afternoon. Took off work an hour early. Got a few hours before the sun goes down. And we're going to call this the Japanese fishing challenge or something like that. I'm going to see if I can catch a fish on this Tokyo rig thing that everybody's raving about. I'm kind of suspicious of it. It looks pretty gimmicky to me, but I've got it tied on. Here's a shot of it right here. This is the VMC version of that. I bought it at Dick's a couple of days ago. If it works, it makes a believer out of me. I might make some of my own. I don't know, these are like five bucks for a two pack. The soft plastic I have on there is the Strike King Rage Tail Menace Grub. One of my favorites from last summer. Kind of a smaller profile soft plastic. Probably mimics a crawl more than anything else. Here's a, I think that was a bite. It was. Okay, so that was like the fourth cast. Awesome. I'm skiing him in. But if it's my first fish on the Tokyo rig. Good job, Tokyo rig. Let's see, my camera says I'm a minute and a half into this trip. Let's see if we can do a little more of that. Pretty pleased with those results. Number two, I was dragging that one along the bottom, and he picked it up and ran with it hard. Still another dinker, but happy to have him. Here's a little close-up look at that rig. I said VMC makes it, and you can see it's got a barrel swivel that I had the line tied on to. The other end of the barrel swivel has a split ring, and on the split ring is a wire dropper that I've got a quarter ounce bullet weight on, and then there's a 3 alt worm hook on there. And then you just put the soft plastic of your choice on there. Another one. Oh, he's pretty good. Oh, because he's a pike. <laughs> he was still pretty good, though. Okay, I have paddled my way across the lake. It's a little crowded on the other side. There's a lot of people out here today because it's gorgeous. And I don't blame any of them for playing a little hooky from work. But... See if I can do something on this side of the lake. And the wind's blowing such that eventually I'll find my way down there where I'm going to throw another Japanese type lure, the Nico rig. Talk more about that later. So far, I'm pretty happy with the Tokyo rig. I've caught, I've gotten two bass to the boat on it and pretty decent pickerel almost to the boat. Not too heartbroken that I didn't have to touch him. Pike again. I'm trying out here deep. Or deeper. Fish. Oh, missed him. And he pants me. Nope, not quite. 
Dang, sure missed him though. There's one. Didn't miss that one. Oh, it did! He got off! gum it! Oh, was it a little bit too long on that hook set? He's a nice fish though. Get in here. It makes me happy. Let's see if I can get the hook out of your out of your face. There we go. Pretty fish. It's number three in the boat on the Tokyo rig, and probably should have had six by now. It's got a length on you. You are 12 and three quarters, but you're chunky. Thanks for showing up. Got him that time. Come on up in here, boy. Pretty happy with the Tokyo rig. Kind of making a believer out of me. You can, uh, you're 12 and a quarter. Don't know why today that I keep thinking you 12 inches are bigger than you really are. Just because of all the dinks that I caught last weekend. Let's see if I can reach the camera and show a release here. There you go. Oh man, that was a nice one. Ah. Oh man, I am missing the heck out of them today. I don't think that one was very big, but I still would like to have caught him. I'm proving my point with the Tokyo rig. I've got, I think, four in the boat on that dude and at least that many bites. So I'm going to switch over to a Nico rig, another, I suppose, Japanese fishing technique. And I'm doing that because I'm in an area where, about this time last year, I caught a lot of fish on a net rig. And this thing, I think, will fish pretty similar to that. I thought so. I I might have a little luck on that dude. Maybe some dinkers laying up there. Let me show you how I've got this rigged. This is the small version of the Strike King Rage Tail Crawl or Rage Crawl or whatever they call it. It's the small guy, and I've got a and I've got a wacky ring around it with a little hook through the wacky ring, and I've got a go rig weight pushed up in the bottom of the crawl so it should be sitting on the bottom kind of like that and I'm just dragging it across there at least that's what I did on that bite there's one another dinker on though Come here, you're almost small enough to go out the scupper hole. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can accurately place you for once. I'll be a little dinker sitting there on that bush. Yep.
Or the bee. Go send your mama. <laughs> These little fellers are all over this Nico rig. They're a little bit better though. Yank another one out of there. No. Oh. Bet that's crappy. That's not a bad crappie. I would probably keep a dozen or so of you guys. Pretty, pretty fish. <laughs> Missed one. I'm missing that time. What is he? Another little crappie. Man, catching crappie on the Nico rig. Who to thunk it? All right, what'd you think of my day out on the water and what'd you think of the Tokyo rig? I'd uh, have to say I'd give it a thumbs up and I will probably definitely be throwing it again tomorrow. I'm just gonna leave it tied on cause I had great luck with it. I think I put four fish in the boat with it and I had at least that many more bites. Uh, two or three uh, like really close ones. One pretty nice bass that I got up to the top of the water. Pretty nice pickerel uh, that got off and I know lots of bites on it and I was very happy with it and I'm a believer so I'll throw it again. Also had a lot of luck. Uh, they were pretty much dinkers though on the Nico rig and I was fishing a crawfish, a little Strike King crawfish on that Nico rig. At the recommendation of, I think it was Mystery Tackle Box, Shop Carl, somebody, somebody on the YouTubes here recently recommended doing that instead of a worm. And I did, and it paid off, and I'll do that tomorrow again as well. I even caught a couple of crappie on that, so that was pretty weird. But thank you for tuning in, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe if you hadn't done so already. We'll see you on the water tomorrow.